Langtree in there as well as Bussy. Been busy early, Jack Bussy. Made his return from injury last week. Starts again this afternoon. And he's put on his back. Two metres into witness territory, middle of the tackle count. Jones at acting half. Fires the ball out to Addy. Addy to Turner. Turner, dummies. Finds a lovely pass here for Minikin. He releases Aikens out wide. They must score here, Featherston. If he gives the ball to Gale, and Gale touches down in the corner. A fantastic piece of play. Danger not averted, though, as Featherston come forward again. Tanner stands in the tackle this time. Three witness defenders around him. Plays the ball. Or will play the ball eventually eight metres out. Just to the left of the post. They come back centre field. Turner, looping pass out to England. England's going to score untouched. And wonderful play again from Paul Turner. Manufactures Featherston's second try of the game. It Pass there for Roberts. Roberts is going to score on the left edge here. Okay. And in the shadows of half time, the penalty that Featherson conceded just a few moments ago is punished. Just be Six the again given against Witness here. Take hand on the ball. Off. Ball comes out the back to Aikens. Aikens, chip over the top, looking for Hall. Corey Hall's going to collect it and score. Rounds it underneath the post. And what a try and what a response. Off the back of Witness getting their first try. This Jones waits at acting half, gives it to Bose. Bose double pumps, gives it to Aikens. Aikens into the line here, just has to submit to the tackle there. The Featherston lead man just getting in the way of things. He'll play it 10 metres to the left of the post. Short ball here for Day. He's going to try it back his way to the line. Brock Day as he scored. He's reached the line. The referee points to the spot. Uh, Witness's best attacking opportunity of the second half so far. Lyons gives it to Gilmore, Gilmore out wide to Owens, Owens finds the pass to Ince, Ince is going to score in the left corner. 35 metres away from the Featherston line, Witness with tackles in the bag. Kirk, ball out wide, taken by Lyons, dumps it back off to Langtree, Langtree through the middle of the rook. Langtree's one-on-one, -on -one. he passes the ball over the top to Owens, and Owens scores underneath the posts. Back-to-back -back tries for the Witness Vikings, that try came from nothing really, it had to be said. I'm sure that that was the last tackle, the referee signalled the last tackle. Well, there's a little bit of confusion here. It must have given that a, a Featherston player played at the ball here, so it's, it looks like it's another set of six to witness here. Ten metres out. Gilmore is it out to Owens. Owens, ball well, manufactured out wide to Ince. Ince is going to score in the corner and locks up the scores here at the Millennium Stadium. A little bit of controversy. Featherston in the context of this game. Seven and a half minutes to go at the Millennium Stadium. It's 22 points to 24 as Day goes down 10 metres out. Butterworth, looping pass in field for Bussy. Bussy finds Jones. Pulls the trigger on the ball. He's going to find Win outside. And Win's going to score. And restores the lead for Featherston Rovers. A wonderful pass from Connor Jones. Addy drops of Kamano, fresh legs from Kamano through the middle of the field and he'll take another 10 metres after contact there, Maurice Kamano. That'll be the last one for Featherston, 20 metres out, big play needs it, needed here. Jones, the kick it comes into the path of Conowin, Conowin's got it off a deflection and Conowin will score and seal the game for Featherston Rovers. The kick came from Connor Jones. He deflected off a witness man into the path of Hall, who just tipped it on for Connor Wynn, who gets his second try in quick succession.